Hello everyone, this video is going to go through how to work out the stoichiometric propane combustion equation in air. Uh, this is complete combustion, no incomplete combustion products such as CO or NOx. And air is 1 mole of oxygen plus 3.76 moles of N2. So propane, we have here C3H8, and we have that combining with air x number of air moles to make y number of CO2 moles plus z number of H2O moles plus k number of, of N2 moles, the nitrogen from the air. So like before we're going to do an atom balance. We're going to look at carbon first and we can see that on the left hand side of the equation we have three carbons from propane and that's going to be equal to y times 1 from the CO2 so then we know that y is going to be equal to 3. We're gonna, next we're going to look at the hydrogen term. And we can see that we have 8 hydrogen from propane. And that's equal to z times 2. Because there's 2 hydrogen and water vapor. And so from this we know z is equal to 4. And next we're going to look at oxygen. So we know we have x times 2 is equal to y times 2 plus z times 1. And so we know we have x times 2 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 4 times 1 which this is equal to 10 so we know x is equal to 5 and then to find k for the n component we know we have x times 3.76 times 2 is equal to k times 2 so x So x is equal to 5. Lost my place in my notes. So we have 5 times 3.76 is equal to k. So k is equal to 18.8. .8. So our final combustion equation looks like C3H8 plus 5O2 plus 3.76 into goes to 3CO2 plus 4H2O plus 18.8 into. So I hope you find this video useful. The only difference between this and the methane combustion is the addition of nitrogen in the oxidizer term. Have a good day.